Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, our topic is arithmetic progression, which is also called arithmetic sequence. And we will be covering these question number seven and question number eight in this video tutorial. And here is our question number seven. In an arithmetic progression, if a sub 5 equal to 6 and a sub 6 equals to 5, then a sub 11 equals to how much? In other words, it states fifth term is 6 and the sixth term is 5. Find the 11th term. Let's go ahead and let's talk about a sub 5 equal to 6. I'm going to write down right up here. A sub 5 equal to 6. And now let's talk about a of 6 equal to 5. We have to be really careful. And then we are going to find a of 11 equals to how much? We don't know that one. And now we know that this uh, this a sub 5 means that our n equals to 5. And here in a sub 6, this 6 is means our n equal to 6. So far so good. And we know that our arithmetic progression formula is right up here. So I'm going to write down right here a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. We have this over here, this part over here. This a of n is simply a sub 5. All right. We don't know a sub 1, so just leave it this one, a sub 1 plus in our case n is 5 so replace n by 5 minus 1 and we don't know d either just leave it like this one and we know that this is a 5 equal to 6 we know that thing from here so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so a of 5 equals to 6 equal to a of 1 plus 4 d. So I'm going to call this equation number 1. All right. Now we are going to do the same thing on this side of this line. Okay. On this side, we're going to be using this quadrat, uh, this uh, arithmetic progression formula, which is a sub 1 n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d and we know that let's fill in the blanks over here so we know that this a sub n in our case is a sub 6 so i am going to write down a sub 6 equal to a sub 1 plus we know in our case n equal to 6 so replace n by 6 minus 1 and we don't know d either just leave it like this one and let's simplify so we know that a of 6 equal to 5 so i'm going to replace it by 5 equal to a of 1 plus 5 d let me call this equation number two. So we got equation number one and equation number two. And from these two one, we want to figure out what is our a sub one. We will find out how much a sub one and how much is d. If we can find the first term a sub one and d, we can easily figured out our a of 11. And now in the next step, we want to solve these two equations for a sub 1 and d. So this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to say 
subtract equation 1 from equation 2. And since I don't have enough space, I am going to move over here, as you can see. And I have put down my equation 2 and, and equation 1 over here. And we are going to subtract 1 from 2. So I'm going to change the sign. This positive 6 become negative, And this become negative A1 and negative 4D. Change all the signs. And let's simplify on this side this become this a1 and negative a1 cancels out so we just simply got this on the left hand side is gonna be 5 minus 6 is negative 1 equal to 5d minus 4d equals to 1d so that means our d value turns out to be negative 1 and now we want to find the value of a sub 1, the first term. That is the only thing that we need to do. To find a sub 1, I am going to plug it in this d equal to negative 1 in either of these two equations. I'm going to plug it in in this equation number 2. On this one, if I plug it in over here, so this is going to become 5 equal to a sub 1 plus 5 times d in our case we figured out negative 1 so let's simplify 5 equal to a sub 1 become negative 5 move this negative 5 on the other side so this become 5 plus 5 equal to a sub 1 that means a sub 1 turns out to be simply 10 so we figured out our a sub 1, 10, and d equals to negative 1. Here is our next, our final step. We know a sub 1 is 10, d equals to negative 1, and we want to figure out a sub 11. So, and this is the formula we will be using once again. This a sub 11 means that this 11 means that this means n equal to 11. Now we are going to be using this formula. Let me write down this formula says a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Let's fill in the blanks. Now in our case a sub n means a sub 11. I'm going to write down a sub 11 equal to a sub 1 in our case is 10 plus n we know is 11 minus 1 times d is negative 1. Let's simplify. So a sub 11 is going to be 10 plus 11 minus 1 is 10 times negative 1. So that is going to give us 10 minus 10 so that means that tells us that a of 11 equal to 0. That means the 11th term must be 0. Thus our 11th term is 0. That means a of 11 equal to 0. And here is our question number 8. In an arithmetic progression, if a sub 10 equal to 38 and a sub 16 equal to 74, then find out a sub 31. In other words, if 10th term is 38 and 16th term is 74, find out the 31st term. So this is the very first thing we are going to do. What kind of data has been given to us? We know this thing. That means a of 10 equals to 38. And we know that a of 16 over here, I'm going to write down a of 16 equal to 74. And we must find out this thing. That means a of 31 is how much? Now, from this given data, 
over here as you can see this 10 means a sub 10 means that n equals to 10 likewise here a sub 16 means n equal to 16 and likewise here 31 a sub 31 means n equal to 30 one. and here's the arithmetic progression formula that we'll be using let's get started with this very first case over here we're going to be writing down this thing i'm going to say a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d let's fill in the blanks we know that a sub n in our case is a sub 10 equals to we don't know a sub 1 just leave it a sub 1 and we know n is 10 so this become 10 minus 1 times we don't know d either just leave it there so that is going to give us we know that a of 10 equals to in our case is 38 so i am going to write down 38 equal to a of 1 plus 9 d I am going to call this as equation number one. And le now let's take care of this part now. Once again, we're going to be using this formula a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Let's fill in the blanks. So a sub n in, in our case is a sub 16 equals to, once again, we don't know a sub 1 plus n in our case is 16 take away 1 times d we don't know either let's simplify this one so we know that this is of 16 in our case is 74 so i'm going to replace that one i'm going to write down 74 equal to a of 1 plus this simply become 16 minus 1 is 15 d and i am going to call this as an equation number two and now from these two equations equation one and two we are going to solve it for a sub one and d that means we are going to find out a sub one value and d for that one here I am going to write down let's subtract subtract equation 1 from 2 that's what I'm going to do equation 1 from 2 let's see what happens and here I have put down equation 2 and equation 1 right up here and here I am going to subtract 1 from 2. Let's change the sign. This positive 38 become negative 38. This become negative a1. We are just switching the sign. And this become negative 90. Let's simplify right now. This a1 negative a1 cancels out. So if we just simply 74 minus 38 is going to give us 36 equal to 6d and now if i divide both sides by 6 that means d is going to be equal to our 6 value and now in the next step we are going to find the a sub 1 to find a sub 1 i am going to do this one i'm going to say put uh, d equal to 6 value in either of this equation let's put it in equation number 2 and here is our equation 2 we're going to plug it in so 74 equal to a sub 1 plus 15 times d d in our case is 6 so let's simplify it 74 equal to a sub 1 plus 90 let's move this 90 on the other side so 74 minus 90 equal to a sub 1 
that means a sub 1 turns out to be negative 16. So finally we found out our first a first term a sub 1 is negative 16 d is 6 so we can easily now find a sub 31 and here is our final step we figured out a sub 1 is negative 16 d is 6 a sub 31 we need to find the value of and n equal to 31 and this is the formula we will be using let's go ahead and get started our a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d in our case a sub n equals to a sub 31 equal to a sub 1 in our case is negative 16 plus n in our case is 31 minus 1 times d in our case is 6 let's simplify so that's going to give us negative 16 plus this is 30 times 6 so that is going to be negative 16 plus 180 that is if you simplify so that's going to give us 164 so a sub 31 turns out to be 164 and thus our answer is the 31st term is 164 and that's pretty much it we're gonna do next problems in the next episode thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye